completion of my life. No trial was necessary to conquer me. If you were not a main factor, you would not have the Lord him up to me. Let us pray one our Father and seven Hail Marys. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, may you be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Together, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My Mother, share and grief with my and let me hear me company the more that Jesus death will be.
Let us now consider the second sort of sorrow, which wounded Mary, the flight of her infant Jesus, into Egypt to escape the persecution by her. Having heard that the long-awaited Messiah had been born, Mary foolishly feared that he would not grant him his kingdom. He went away to hear from the Holy Mountain, where the young king was born, and planned to take his life. When he found that he had been deceived, he ordered all the gates in the neighborhood to be put to the death. He wrote the sign that the angel appeared in the room to Saint Joseph and told him, Arise! the child and his mother and flee into Egypt. No sooner is Jesus born than he is persecuted. Mary began to realize that Simon's prophecy regarding her son was beginning to be fulfilled. What anguish the realization of the impending exile must have caused Mary. It is easy to imagine that Mary must have suffered on the journey. The distance to Egypt was considerable, 300 miles, requiring journey of up to 30 days. The road was rough and known a little trouble. It was winter time, so that they had made their way through snow, rain and rain, over rock and dirty roads. Where could they have selected such a journey, especially on the 200 miles of desert? They lived in Egypt seven years, but they were strangers, alone, without money, and barely able to support themselves by the work of their hands. Lambas of Sakasuri has written, and let this be a consolation to the poor. Let Mary live there in such poverty, and there were times when she did not have even cross to her to give her son when he was hungry. The thought of Jesus and Mary, who wandered in his projects to a strange land, teaches us that we must also be as pilgrims here below, detached from the material things that the world offers and which he was soon going to enter eternity. It also teaches us to embrace process, for we cannot live in this world without them. Let us make Mary happy by welcoming her son into our hearts, the son who begs to continue to persecute by their sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When, therefore, we call down God's blessing on this this act statue, and our foremost concern must be that our Christian lives bear out the kind of witness we give by using it. Brothers and sisters, listen to the words of the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. All of us gazing with unveiled face in the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory as from the Lord who is the Spirit. Therefore, since we have this ministry through the mercy shown us, we are not discouraged, rather, we have renounced as shameful, hidden things, not acting deceitfully or falsifying the word of God, but by the open declaration of the truth, we commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not making a pretense of religion, but in commitment to its true power, let us call on the name of the Lord. In every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Most merciful God, it is your wish that we be always mindful of your marvelous works. Grant that the things we behold with our eyes may move our minds to dwell on the signs of your mercy. We pray. You see, worshippers who will worship in spirit and in truth, grant that with the help of this statue, symbol of our devotion, we may follow the way of devotion and faith. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Through your Son, you have commanded us to pray without ceasing. Grant that steadfast prayer may help us to live pure and devout lives response. Lord, hear our prayer. In your church, you generously provide us with every means of holiness and salvation. Grant that whatever we receive through the mystery of the church, we may use for its upbuilding of his kingdom. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Bless be your name, O Lord. You are the fount and source of every blessing, and you look with delight upon the devout practices of the faithful. Draw near, we pray, to this statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary. As we use this symbol, the statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the symbol of our faith and devotion, grant that we may strive to be transformed into the likeness of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May God who has revealed His glory to us in Christ bring your lives into conformity with the image of His Son so that you may reach the, vis the vision of His glory. Amen. Amen.
we are children of the one Father, and we have Mary our intercessor, and today we celebrate the seven sorrows of Mary. And these are sorrows of Mary that should be applied in our life as we are following her as the first disciple of the Lord. No? The first disciple of the Lord is the Blessed Virgin Mary. So as we venerate, as we uh, do things in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we think that we are called by the Lord with these actions that we have. And so as children of the Father, we will pray the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught us, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Okay, Thank you so Atit much, Father. Ito. Thank you also. Okay. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. As we celebrate the feast day of Our Lady of Sorrows, we ask you to bless these people gathered. We ask you to bless each and every one of us, our individual families. Bless the poor that we are going to partake. This food is a clear manifestation of your love for us who provide what we need. This we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Lord amen. amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. Okay, start now. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much, Father. Amen. Amen.